Hello everyone, Jack here from Second Gear and welcome yourselves to a brand new series which is going to be replacing Inside for the duration of the game obviously. And it is Song of the Deep. I saw this at a E3 this year from obviously Insomniac's Thingamabob, I forget what it's called. But it actually looks rather interesting, really nice art style, very kind of Ori in the Blind Forest which is kind of, well, great if anything. But uh, on Steam, the About Game says, Song of the Deep is a Metroidvania-style action-adventure game following a girl's quest into the unknown to find her father. Kind of cliche, but we're going to sweep that under the rug for now, because obviously a game can still be amazing, even with something like that at the heart of it. Combining discovery, skill, and suspense with an unforgettable narrative, that is a very, very big claim, but Insomniac do do narrative rather well. Uh, the, this underwater journey will challenge players to explore, experiment, and skillfully navigate the vast ocean landscape. But this is really reminding me of Ori in the Blind Forest, and I love it. We are going to go advanced for this one, just because, uh, well, I fancy a little bit of a challenge, and we'll see if this game can provide such a thing. Merin loved the sea. Oh my god, she it's Irish! The waves calling to her through her window. She dreamt every night of the mysteries that lay beneath. Her father was a fisherman, each day he went out to sea, and each night Merrin waited at the rocky cliff edge, holding up a candle to guide him safely home. I already love this. The two of them were poor. Their roof was leaky, and they sometimes went hungry. But as long as they had each other, Merrin knew they would be okay. At night, her father sang her songs about his great adventures. He sang of giant leviathan serpents, haunted caves, and a lost city of gold beneath the sea. Merrin knew the stories weren't real, but she loved to listen to them. She drifted off to sleep, imagining the wonders of the world below. Jack Septicai needs to play and this. And her life continued that way, simply and happily. Until one night, her father didn't return. Marin held up her candle at the cliff's edge all through the night, staring out at the empty sea. She shivered in the cold wind as she watched from all the next day. Her eyes welled with tears as night fell again and there was still no sign of her father. At last, she collapsed into sleep. In her dreams, she saw him, trapped deep beneath the sea, calling to her for help. She awoke with a jolt. A desperate and dangerous plan was already forming in her head. She took scraps of metal and wood her father had caught in his nets and pieced them together. She hammered and bolted, she measured and sawed. And before the sun had set, this is really cool. she had built a tiny, rickety submarine. With trembling hands, she squeezed inside and dove down beneath the waves to search for her father. I love the fact they made it Irish. Just because there's such few games that actually have an Irish narrative to them. Obviously there's loads of different, um, there's loads of different games which, well, or loads of different countries which haven't actually got games with narratives of that style, but yeah, I, I think you understand what I mean, damn it. Okay, so we're actually in game now. I'm already in love with the art style. Okay, uh, right, how, how do I, how do I move? Do I... Okay, it's up and down to move. Well, okay, hold on. Let's have a little look around here. Okay, so we have got a map, which... Oh my god, this is Ori in the Blind Forest. Look, gate, treasure, item, shop, warp, tyne, well, whatever the bloody hell that is. And I warn you, throughout the duration of this game, I am going to be slipping into a very, very inappropriate Irish accent. So <laughs> apologies for that in advance for anyone that is Irish. I mean no disrespect, one of my best friends is in fact Irish. But still, that doesn't make it okay. The waves shimmered with mystery. Glow kelp bulbs lit up around her as she passed by. This is a f Ooh, there's a coin! Oh my god, there's a seahorse! Coin? Erin spotted some odd looking old coins. Maybe her father would know where they were from. Okay, so far, I really like this. Oh, we got a bit of a speed boost. What's with that dancing crab? What are you doing, good sir? I'm guessing you're going to hurt me if I go near you. So, I'm going to try. No, I'm not going to get hurt. Fair enough. 
The question is really, how big are these crabs? The fact that she's a human, granted a child, but still a human, and those crabs are that big. No, coin, 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 thank you. Mine, 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 mine. I can feel my OCD for exploration and collecting is going to go insane on this game, the same as it did with Ori in the Blind Forest. Right, we have a gate. Do I... Okay, I can't bump it. I'm guessing... Like, I know there is, in fact, weapons in this game, like torpedo systems, stuff like that. Weary light flickered and danced on the sea floor, like an underwater fire. I really hope, one, that the narration is picking up easily for you guys, because I'm not sure what the levels are at the moment. If they're too low, then obviously we will fix them for the next one. Uh, but did you just hear that? An eerie light. Oh my god, I love the Irish accent so much. About a mysterious living energy called time. Could that have been a time wellspring? I think it could have been, but now why are these sea urchins glowing? Do I push them over here? No. Okay, not entirely sure. We're gonna go this way. Alright, we've got a bit of a current going on. No, 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 no. Oh, there's a gold coin. No. No. Okay, alright, alright. You wanna play like this? I can play like this. Okay, wait for it. Charge! Nope, 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 no. Nope. Go, 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 go. Thank you. A seahorse made of clockwork gears darted out of the way as Marin approached. She wondered who could have built such a curious creature. Yes. Yes. I'm rather curious about that myself. Oh, there's a pearl. I bet the p Hold on, that's probably a secret. That is probably a secret. Get it! Yes! Plus five. Lovely. Let's hope the upgrades aren't exactly back-breakingly expensive. Otherwise, it's going to be rather sad. We have got a gold coin. So, what's the map looking like? Oh my god, it is Ori in the Blind Forest. Okay, I'm... You know how I felt about Ori in the Blind Forest. I am... No! Instantly in love with this. Stop it. Stop it. Damn it. This is what happens when you're greedy, people. Don't be greedy. I cannot wait to play We Happy Few tomorrow. And unfortunately, we are going to have to wait till... No, 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 no. Till tomorrow to play, because it's going to be replacing our lovely series of Doom, considering that has now finished. But I've been waiting for months for this game. Here, more coins. What? What? What is this? Magnetic Claw. A versatile magnetic claw capable of grabbing, pulling, and attacking. Marin approached a glowing scrap of metal okay. and pulled it inside. It was claw-shaped and had a strong magnetic pull. She took out her tools and attached it to a firing mechanism on her steering column. So, what, can I just break this, or...? Because there's a chest up here, and I, I, I kind of want the chest. Right, is there anything I can grab here? Ah, I understand. I can grab this, and I can run! So I can open it, but is it going to stay up? No, it is not. But why can't you just stay up? Like, seriously? Wait, can I grab this wood? Oh, no, I can destroy the wood. So I can pick this up. Ah, uh, I think I know what I had to do. I reckon I had to feed this sea urchin to the statue. It's worth trying. Sorry, people. It's... I, I really... Excuse me. You took my sea urchin. Why? Why did you take my sea urchin? It literally just eviscerated it. Alright, so if I drop you here, I can't open the hatch from this side. Duly noted. Because, did you see that giant statue head actually had his mouth open? Yeah, kind of. Ooh, that could be a secret. I'm guessing these glowing kelp, uh, kelp whatever, I can't remember what they're called, damn it. Kelp weed? Where, wait, what, what, what? Glow kelp. Uh, this glow kelp is some form of checkpoint system, because whenever we've crossed it, it's actually glowed! Okay, stay here. I'm already liking this. Hopefully you guys are feeling the same. If you uh, feel that the audio needs to be turned up, please let me know, just so the series is perfect for everyone. That's what I want, to, I want it to be. Now, is that going to take away my um, sea urchin? So that's going to roll down here. And now I can pick it up. And I could take it over here. Right, don't destroy my sea urchin. It's my sea urchin. So, how? I'm an idiot. 
Wait, no I'm not. Sorry, it looks like there's a handle there. Doesn't it? Or do we need an upgrade to be able to break this? Because I doubt it's just going to want me to sit here and spam it. So we have a sea urchin. Question is, how can I use it? Uh, you know what? I think I might actually be wrong about this. Oh no, there we go. How did, how did I just do that? How did I throw it? Alright, alright. It's going to be a game of basketball then, is it? Nope, nope. So close. Nope, pick it up. And we're going to try a couple more times. How did I throw it then? Come here. I don't... Wait, I'm very confused. How am I throwing stuff? There we go. Alright, so i got to actually just move forward a little bit. Nope, nah, that's not it. Just get in his mouth. I know that's going to be the way we open this. Damn it! Right. Oh, nope. Come on. Right. Screw it. Uh, I'll think about it later, or when we get some uh, more upgrades, we'll have a look and see if we can open it then. Because I doubt that they're going to give you an entire treasure chest right at the beginning. Same. Is that staying open now? No, it is not. Alright, well, let's move on then, shall we? So, a time pool. What does this do? See, there's more sea urchins. Aim with W. Marin spotted shock nettles ahead of her. She had to ah. be cautious, as the hostile creatures would attack her on sight. Well, I don't think they will. So we've got to use W to power to power forward, and then we can release a sea urchin, then obviously killing stuff. Can I throw this stuff too? All right, so we can actually throw shells. Let's hopefully let's hope that there wasn't a hermit crab in there. Otherwise, we just basically evicted him. Okay, no, 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 and release. Right, into the next area. The claw also damages enemies. That's good to know. And they will shock you. Ah, okay, they're more like a perimeter defense system. Right, so... Ah! Wait, what does that do? Is that a bomb? Yes, it is. Can you can you guys leave me alone? I have not got much health, uh, health left. And we needed that bomb to get through there. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Damn it! All right, Mary death number shuddered. one. As if recovering from a bad dream. For a moment, she thought she had experienced her own death. But it had merely been the time showing her one of the many possible roads ahead. Marin spotted shock nettles ahead of her. Oh, God. She had to be cautious. Yeah. There we go. The hostile creatures would attack her on sight. All right, no, they won't. Do you know why? Because Marin is a badass. And kind of instantly more lovable than Ori. Even though, I know, I know, Ori was cute and fuzzy. But it's just something about the... Uh, what is it? I can't think of what I'm trying to say. Ah, uh, bollocks. I should, have, I should have brought some shells with me. No. No. Alright, two hits will kill these guys. The miles up. There we go. Right, there we are. We got our coins. Uh-oh. Nope. Take the bomb, take the bomb, don't like, Oh, damn it! Uh, this is gonna get take some getting used to like the whole uh, movement of it, if that makes sense. The claw can pick up bombs. Well, we already know this. Okay. A sleeping guardian blocked Merrin's path. She knew it all too well from her father's stories. And she knew it must never be woken. Why? Uh-oh. Uh oh. Oh god, it fires out bombs. Um, I'm going to go ahead and guess that we've got to get behind it and throw a bomb or something into the back of its head. Perhaps? Ah, my headset started beeping. Oh, I have a glowing ore. One second, one second, people. One minute. Do 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 do. There we go. Sorry, don't want the headset to die mid episode, otherwise that's just going to be bad. It's been a while since it happened though, so at least that's good. Now we have a yellow orb, and there's a big old tide here. Oh, hello, random hook. I've seen another one of those hooks before, haven't I? I'm pretty sure I have. Wait, I just... I just had the hook dangling. 
How did I just have the hook dangling? Oh, now the orb's gone. Damn it. Nope, orb's gone. What was that orb about? And can I go up to the surface? Apparently not. Okay. Can I get around the ship? No. I'm guessing I'm just going to have to fire the bombs back at the Guardian. Which makes sense. Yep, okay. Come on, any more? <laughs> Into advanced my ass. Father, the Guardians had been built by ancient undersea explorers called the Fomori. Marin always thought the Fomori were a myth. Now she wondered if her father's other stories might be true. Well, I'm pretty sure we're going to find out. Ooh, more coins. Lovely. Can I have a shop soon, please? Ah, uh, we missed treasure up the top there. Well, if we missed treasure at the top there, then what the hell am I doing going down here? And there's an item over here. That... Oh, no! There's treasure there. Okay, we, we need a bomb. And let's have a look for a bomb for this gate first. I'm hoping we can find one. Undying Caves. Oh, sounds like a... Hello, what are you? Not entirely sure what you are. But I'm going to see if... Ah, oh, never mind. I was going to say, I'm going to see if you, if you could break that. Right, so we've missed items and treasure up here. And I don't want to miss a thing, basically. I mean, who would? This looks like a creature here. Kind of unnerves me. Right, so we got treasure up here, which is apparently, like, just here. Is it? Yeah, I'm on top of it. So how, pray tell, am I meant to obtain such treasure? There's something here blocking me. I'm not sure what it is. Is it just a rock behind the kelp? I think it might be. How the hell am I meant to get this? Unless I'm meant to go from behind. So go down, then back up through the small chasm area, and then try and jump over the top of it and ride the current down. I think that's what it wants us to do. So far, though, I actually quite like this. We can't get back. I wonder, would a bomb be able to blow that open? Well, one way to find out. And... No. No, it cannot. Okay, now, am I going to be able to be quick enough to get this to the gate? Let's find out if it starts really pulsating. No, no, no. No way in hell. Okay, I guess this is going to have the same kind of thing as Ori, and we're going to have to do a fair bit of backtracking. So that's okay. We'll get we'll get a couple new abilities, and then we'll see where we stand there, shall we? Do-do-do-do. I like the little model of the summary. You can even see... Um, Merrin inside it as well. Okay, we must need you for a reason. The old statue reminded her of her father's lullabies about the brave and beautiful Marrows. Wait, can I just... Yep. Yes, yes, yes. Sweet. Okay. So, you're coming with me. Ah. Oh, no, 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 no. Leave the head on the statue. Because we're not going to be able to get through. So we can bust through this rock. Or not. Okay. Right, got another checkpoint. Do 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 do. Uh, next objective is down here. Or, oh, no, we can't go that way. It looks like we're going to be able to get a boost at some point as well. Because that little, like, uh, what is it? Thunderbolt down there? Now. Right, we need another head to place on the pedestal. Or the statue, even. Question is, where would I find such a thing? Wait, you two come here. Now, I'm not entirely sure what you do. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, just go, just go, just go. What is that? Alright, plop you down there. That's gonna open the door. Open the door quick. Quick, 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 quick. I haven't got anything to fight them with. As Marin explored, she sketched the terrain on a sheet of cartography paper. Cartography. Her father had taught her that those who make maps are never lost. So, it says there's an item or treasure here. You prick. Come here. Nope, there you go. Now, would I have to throw anything at these eels, do you think? 
There's a, there's a, well, there's a starfish here. Nope. That did not work. Then tell me, where is this treasure that you keep... Oh, look. It says it right... Whoa, okay. Damn it, I can't zoom in anymore. You, you see it, though, right in front of the submarine. There's a little diamond, which means treasure. But I ain't seen a... huge hermit crab watched Merrin from a rocky ledge. On his back, he carried a vast array of odd-looking treasures. Uh, can we just notice that the hermit crab actually looks like... The crab what's his name? seemed to like shiny objects. Maybe he would be willing to make a trade. The hermit crab actually looks like... Who's Harry Potter's uncle in the film? I know it's the Dursleys, but the, the dad of that family, he looks like him. And it's actually kind of funny. <laughs> Right, so we can get a concussive claw that increases the claw's damage by modifying it to strike with a concussive blast, which we cannot afford, unfortunately. But we have claw extension, alloy claw, increases the damage by reforging into a more effective weapon. Tine extractor increases the frequency of tine drops when killing enemies with a claw. And lightning claw, good god. But we can't actually afford anything right now. And with that being said, guys, I'm afraid I'm going to have to end off this little introductory episode to Song of the Deep. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. If you have, be sure to drop a like down below. Let me know. Oh, hell no. Come here. Nope. Damn it. Well, at least he's dead. Yeah, let me know what you think of the game so far in the comment section down below. If you've played it yourself or you're further than me and got any tips or tricks or anything like that, let me know in the comment section down below. And finally, guys, if this is the kind of content that you do enjoy to watch, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you've ever done so already. Uh, I looked on there recently, like a couple hours ago, and it seems that we have hit 155 subscribers, which is bloody fantastic to see our little family grow more and more each and every single day, especially when it's packed filled with uh, subs and viewers that obviously make quite the difference in the comment section. Like, you you guys always like to help me out and all that good stuff, which is just fantastic and is kind of exactly what I want, just to have an active, well, I say an active audience, but an active... Um, an active channel, damn it. But yeah, you guys are doing fantastic. Don't change a damn thing. And of course, if you do decide to subscribe, there's always the added benefit of being able to keep up to date with all of our content. And if you're new here, we actually upload three videos a day, seven days a week, seven ongoing series. It's bloody fantastic stuff. And I very much enjoy making content for you guys. But anyway, thank you all for watching. And until next time, I shall see you all later.